of the hour. Starring Hey Apple. Presented by the Colgate Palmolive Tea Company, makers of Halo Shampoo. Bam, the new wash day sun. Ajax Cleanser. And palm olive soap. Got my shoes on, but I ain't walking. Don't give me that. <laughs> now, you be nice while you're here. Gee. What's the matter with you? Hey, Eric. Right. All I want to tell you, I'm very happy that you brought me all the way from California in those balloons. In those balloons? And to think that I'm going to come here to marry Gail Storm. That's the one thing I can't understand. I'm going to marry Gail how Storm. You, how you ever got her father to consent to that marriage? Well, you know how? No. I told the guy that I was a great musician, but you know I'm not. You, what can you do? You can't do a thing. Well, he the might... man wants, listen, the man, the man that marries that girl has got to have talent of some kind. Yeah, yeah, he wants talent in the family. Old man. He wants talent in the family. But I'll figure out something later on, something for you, but... She's a pretty hey, girl. It'd be swell if he knew a good story. She's not like the girls you and I had before. Well, let's not get personal. We're not talking... What do you mean, that. we shouldn't get personal? We're not talking... Now, don't get personal. I'm not getting personal. All right. You got no kick coming. I'm not kicking. I mean, every time we get a couple of girls right away fast, you say, take this one over here. All right, never mind that. Forget Whether about it. Whether I like her or not, he says, take this one it's over all right. here. all right. These folks are not interested in that. Sometimes I don't want that one, but he I... says, take it just the same. Look, I'm trying to think of... You always get the best looking ones. All right, so what? How about the ones last night? Well, let's not talk about last night. You had the best looking ones. So what? Yours had teeth. Hey, listen, now, wait a minute. <laughs> Yours had teeth, too. Hey, did you see the tooth in mine? Yeah, yes, yes. I... <laughs> Oh, mine had so much bridge work, every time I kissed her, I had to pay toll. Oh, why not? Stop, pause! Don't give me that. You behave yourself. I'm warning you. Stop, pause! I'm warning you, Lou. I'm not going to be a married man, don't. You'll never marry that girl. You can't do anything, you Lou. You push me like that, I can't follow the red buttons on the cameras. I don't know which one it is. Could you? Oh, you can tell a story because we yes, don't I know can. a story. I can tell a story. We only know jokes. Now, I can tell a story. Where'd you get a story from? I wrote one myself. You wrote a story yourself? Is it brand new? I wrote it. Oh, must be brand new. The only thing is I don't need you. Well, I thought it was all right. I tell a, I tell a story by myself. Is it funny? It's cute. 
It's clean. Clean. <laughs> and you wrote it? Yeah. The only thing is I don't need you, sir. What? Will the folks enjoy this? Yeah, the, the folks out there, they're going to be a big kick out of this. All right, go ahead. Now, I'll, I'll tell a story but by you myself. you wrote it. Yeah. And it's brand new. Yeah. Go ahead. Now, from now on, you've got nothing to say. See, I tell a story by myself, yeah. and you you keep your mouth shut. And it's funny. Yeah. It's all about a whale, a ship, and Jonah. And it's new. And you got nothing to say. Keep your mouth shut. But you shut. wrote it. I wrote it! Well, take Now, you keep your mouth shut. Go ahead, let's hear it. Once upon a time, there was a whale. What kind of a whale? This. What kind of a whale? You remember I asked you to keep your mouth shut? Well, I only asked you. I tell a story by myself. It's my own specialty. But I only ask you what kind of a whale. You keep your mouth shut. You ain't got nothing to say in a story. I'm only asking you what kind of a whale, though. I don't know what kind of whale. I don't go around with whales. Well, all right, forget about it. What do you think I do? Blow on a whale? Gang or something? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Will you forget about it? I mean, after all, it's a plain everyday whale. It swims in the ocean. That's all. All right, so it's a whale. Now, this whale was in the ocean. What ocean? And in the. In what ocean? He must have been in some ocean, Lou. The folks. Ah, pick that ocean. What I care. That's immaterial to me. All right, the immaterial ocean. Ah, oh, what kind of ocean? <laughs> now the whale was in the immaterial ocean, mind his own business, but he was following a ship. What ship? This ship was going on the heap. What, 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 what ship? The ship that swims in the water. Oh, you, you mean a swim ship? Yeah. Oh, well, I now didn't the whale was following a swim ship because. Uh. Who ever heard of a swim ship? I don't know, Lou. You're telling you're me. You're getting me all mixed up. I tell a story by myself. You ain't got nothing to say. Listen, when do we laugh at this thing? Everybody's laughing before they're supposed to laugh. <laughs> you don't laugh now. No, but I tell you a funny answer. Then you laugh. Yeah, Lou, this is an hour show. I know, but the story only takes a couple of minutes, but you, you all keep right, it all up. Right. It's a ship. Now, keep right. your mouth shut. tell it. Now, the ship was following the whale the what? because the ship was hungry. The ship was what? Now he's got me got the ship following the whale. Ah, oh, take whale. your time. Will you stop it now? The whale was following the ship you because said... the whale was hungry. That's right. Now, Captain Jonah was the captain of the boat, and he didn't want the whale to capsize the boat. Yeah, the what? He didn't want the whale to capsize the boat. To capsize? Yeah, he didn't want the whale to capsize the boat. Don't well, you know what that means, don't you? <laughs> you know what capsize means? Sure. What does it mean? That's a big word. What does it mean? Capsize. Capsize. Um, Everybody knows capsize. But what does it mean? Capsize. Capsize. <laughs> well, speak up. Well, well, you don't hey. want these folks to think you're dumb. No. They hear what the whale capsize the boat. But what does capsize mean? Let it go, let it go, let it go. What, what, what does it mean? mean? <laughs> it's like six or seven eighths. All right, that's what I thought. Go ahead. He don't want the, he don't want the whale to six or seven eighths of the boat. No. So he threw the whale over a barrel of apples. What kind of apple? Now, just... just, just what kind of apples, Lou? What's so hard about that? Look, you've got nothing to say in this story. I'm only, I only you, have. you keep interrupting me. Look, play every day. He throw them over apples. What kind there's of apples? all kinds of apples, Lou. There's Baldwin apples, there's frost apples, there's crab apples. Well, tell the people that. Say, throw them out of the crab apples. He's got me mad at you people now. Now, take it easy. Come on. You don't laugh now. I tell you a funny answer. Well, then you well, laugh. Well, don't laugh now. Now, the chance. Now, after the whale, after the whale ate the apples, Captain Jonah was still a captain, and then the whale was still hungry, so then Captain Jonah threw him over a camp stool. What kind of camp stool? Who said that? Me, in case you ask me. I'm not asking. <laughs> Wait, the baby. He, he threw him over a three-legged camp stool. Yeah. So the whale ate the camp stool, and the whale ate the apples, but he was still hungry. Yeah. In other words, his appetite had not been appeased. All right, go ahead. There is a big word. Mm -hmm. So, Captain Jonah being a very brave man, he yelled downstairs to the guy, he says, put more coal on the fire so we can get away from the whale, yes, see? I understand. So now the boat's doing about 40 miles an hour, no, no, and wait, the boat's wait, going wait, up, wait, the, up, the, up the ocean, and the whale couldn't catch up to the boat. You shouldn't write these kind of stories. You don't say that. There's, there's a nautical term for that. Huh? If you're on the ocean, you walk up to a sailor and ask him how fast... Oh, 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 oh. Mice. You, you, ask, you ask a sailor how fast the boat is going, uh, he don't say miles to you. No. He says knots to you. Oh, the sailor. See, there's an article term for that on the water. You mean a sailor, a sailor would say knots to me? Yeah, sure. A perfect stranger? Absolutely. I don't even know the guy? No, certainly not. No. I say nuts back to him. No, you can't. You're not a sailor. Go ahead with that story. All right, so the boat was gone nuts. All right, forget about it. Anyway, the whale couldn't catch, it or catch up to the boat. No, so. so then Captain Jonah, he was a brave sailor, and he didn't want the whale to catch up to the boat in the first place. All right. So he sacrificed himself so he could save his passengers. And he threw a beautiful jackknife knife right into the mouth of the whale. All right, come on now. Now, now the whale ate Captain Jonah, he ate the apples, and uh, he ate, the, he ate the, uh, the stool, and then the whale swam away. Uh, wait a minute. Epic! Wait a minute. Three years later, they caught that very same whale, yeah. and they cut him minute. open, wait a minute. Wait a minute. and what do you think wait they minute. found? Wait a minute, Louis. Now, Louis. he says yeah, something, no, and then I tell you the foreign answer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not yet, wait, wait, not wait, wait, yet. Wait, 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 it's close. Wait a minute. I tell you the funny answer. Uh, only one question I want to ask you. Go ahead. 
Hey, Lou, <laughs> on a level now, please. You're not coming out here tonight in front of this intelligent audience. There's millions and millions of people watching you. You're not coming out here tonight and try to get away with that old pun, that old wheeze. About the time they caught the whale and they cut him open, and there they found Jonah seated on that stool selling those apples three for a nickel, are you? That's not the story you wrote. You... Now, wait a minute, now, wait a minute. I want to apologize, friends. It couldn't be that. Because every little schoolboy in the world knows that joke. Now, wait a minute, please. He'll only give me the... No, 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 I don't want to be blamed for this. He wrote it himself, so it must be new. But it did sound like that old... Uh, build up to that old pun. But uh, I'll leave it to my partner here. There's a boy. He's got brains. He's smart. Now, wait a minute. Now, he said he wrote it himself. What did they find when they cut the whale open? <laughs> oh, no. Folks, will you please? I, I like to hear this. I enjoy a laugh as well as you do. And if it's funny, we'll just have a, one good hearty laugh before we leave and go into the next scene. Tell the folks what they found when they cut the whale open. You know the answer, don't you? You do. Don't you feel good? You don't. Maybe the lights are too hot? Huh? Well, finish the story and we'll leave the stage. Go ahead. Tell the folks what they found when they cut the wheel open. Go ahead. Come on, you're on your own now, Lou. Go ahead. What? What did they find? What did they... Lou. Lou. Here, the cameras are over here, Lou. Wait. Lou. Oh, Lou, come on. Lou, I didn't mean any harm by that. Lou. No. No. I'm Margaret Lindsay. If you'd sort of like someone to whistle at you, let Halo Shampoo help you out. Because Halo leaves your hair soft and fragrant, shining with colorful highlights. Glorify your hair with Halo, America's favorite shampoo. Luke Costello. That's all I hear around here is Luke Costello starting to get into my hair. The man you marry must have talent, dear. Well, he has talent. Oh, I don't want him in the family. Now, on the other hand, you take Phil Regan. There's a fine broth of a lad. Yes. A beautiful Irish voice. Yes. And besides, he's a cop. Incidentally, Phil Regan's own television show is on at the present time. Look. Sweetheart, you sit down. I want you to give him your undivided attention. I'll tune him in and watch him. Yes, Dad. Oh, you're wonderful. You can't go wrong. Ah, the stars out tonight I don't know if it's cloudy or bright For I only have eyes for you, dear. The moon may be high But I can't see a thing in the sky For I only have eyes for you I don't care if we're in the garden Or on a crowded avenue You are here, so am I Maybe millions of people go by But they all disappear from view I
millions of people go by, but they all disappear from view. How did you like that voice? Oh, the wonderful. voice seems to put me in the trance. Oh, he has a beautiful voice. And how handsome he looked in that uniform. Yes, indeed, he oh, is there. handsome. There is a man for you. Now, Luke Costello, what has he got? He has an announce of town. Well, no, I oh. wouldn't say that. Can he sing? Sing? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. Can he dance? I haven't asked him. Well, can he play an instrument? Play an instrument? Yeah. I don't think so. He can't but, do it. Dad, he's so cute. Cute, cute, cute. That the quarter will get you a cup of coffee. Cute. The man you marry must have a tremendous amount of talent. A tremendous amount of talent. That's right. Dad, I have a little surprise for you. You have? He's coming here tonight. Hmm? All the way from California. From California? Yes. And I want you to be nice to him. Please, for my sake, Dad. Hmm? Well, for your sake, I will, sweetheart. But I won't like it while I'm doing it. Come on, what's the matter with you? Always trailing behind. Now, wait a minute, Abbott. I've got the brainchild this time to put you over. That's what I'm afraid of, that those ideas of yours. Why, what's wrong with my ideas? Well, the last idea you had, I got six months, that's all. So we'll round it out to an even year. Look, this old man in here is a crank. He wants, uh, Let me tell him stories. I can tell him stories better than I can. Wait a minute, I've got a better idea. You see this record here? Yeah. It's a piano record. This is a Victrola. Yeah. I get them behind the uh, piano, put the record on, you say, all right, I start playing. You go over to the piano and fake it. Then you say, all right, again, I'll stop. You mean when I go in to say, see Gail and her father, yeah. then you're going to go behind the piano with this. Yeah. And then when I sit down at the piano like I'm going to play, I say, all right. All right. And then you're going to start the record. Now you've got Then it. when I say, all right, the second time, you're going to take the record off. Now do you understand Every it? time I say, all right, you play. Every time I say, all right, you stop. Now do you understand it? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, what? Yes, sir. That's better. Well, you got to be one or the other. Sure. Will you Who stop that now? Stop this nonsense. Now, pick yourself up. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. How do you do? Oh, come right in, oh, boy. Yes, yeah. yeah, thank you. Come through the door. Huh? You think they put doors in these things for? What's the matter? I'm here. You get in the door. Go ahead. But I got to come in a gun here. It costs money to build these sets. Get in there. Get in the butt. You come, go through the door. I don't have to go if I don't want to through the door. Go through the don't door. Don't make me look silly. Go through okay, the door. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, there. okay, okay. Come here. Get in there. Okay. <laughs> my shoe, my shoe. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is your father, I presume? Yes, I want you to meet Bud Abbott. Very glad to meet you. I do. Hey, hey. Hey, Pop. Pop, Pop. Now, will you keep quiet? Oh, Mr. This, Costello? This is a talented boy. Very talented, eh? All loaded, <laughs> chuck full of talent. I understand you want my daughter's hand in marriage, eh? Yes, yeah, sure. I beg your pardon? I say you want my daughter's hand in marriage. Just the one? Yeah. I want the both all of them. All right, all right. <laughs> what I'm going to do, just marry the one hand? Wonderful. I want the both hands to speak. I want the head of... All right, all right, all right. Hey. <laughs> He yeah. has a wonderful sense of humor. Oh. <laughs> uh, but wait, you see the way he plays the piano. Will you back up? You're covering me from he the camera. Never mind. Can you play the piano? That's wonderful. Sure. I'm glad to hear it. Is he there, Dad? Would you play the piano for us? Go ahead, play the piano. Mr. Costello, play the piano for us. Would Go ahead. you, Louis? Well, Mr. Storm, I'm I'm a pretty good piano player. I'd like to hear a sample of your work. You would? How would you like to play, say, for example? Well, why don't you sit down and maybe I'll play the piano. Go ahead. Oh, right. oh, sit, sit, down. Sit, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Now, uh, Mr. Storm, yes. uh, you know, I'm a pretty good piano player. Uh -huh. Now, why would you like to have me play piano? I'd like to have you play, say, the uh, second Hungarian Rhapsody from Liszt. <laughs> what? The second Hungarian Rhapsody from Liszt. The second Hungarian Rhapsody from what? Liszt. Liszt. He Liszt. He Liszt. No, 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 no. He's the composer. Listen. Why don't I play something like, uh, 
A Schubert or Bach or Bach to Schubert? No, no. Bach to Bach, the eight ball in the side pocket or something. No, no. No, no, no. Pardon, listen. I want to hear the second Hungarian dance. Second Hungarian movement by lips. This. <laughs> okay. Shall I play? Sit down, Mr. Storm. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know how it goes? Never heard it. You know how it goes? No. I'm in. <laughs> Hungarian stuff by somebody else. Okay. <laughs> you didn't know how to play piano, did you? I never no. did. I didn't know until a few minutes ago. <laughs> Warm enough. I see. Every artist does his rule, yes. I beg your pardon, yes. All right. <laughs> Golly, that was all oh. right. All right! <laughs> I didn't see it then. Go ahead, you do it. Wait till I say all right. All right. <laughs> all right! Not now, you... Not now! How you doing? <laughs> you know, Mr. Kisselow, when you walked in here, I didn't think you had an ounce of talent. But I was all... I thought you was going to say all right. <laughs> all right! <laughs> Will you wait for me? I'm listening, I'm listening. Oh, this is such a wonderful surprise. Hey, I was a pretty good tune, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Would you like to have me play something else? All right. <laughs> we could bring you having a finish of a scene right there. <laughs> now, <laughs> would you like to have me play something else? No, 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 yes. no. Just that number. I like that number. I, I, I want me to play it again? No, I don't. That? Yes, you can play it. Sit. Go ahead. Sit down, relax. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. No. I will not. 
not stand for any of your temperament. We'll do it my way. We won't do it at all. Her hand is to be here and here. Her hand will be here and here. Besides, how can I pose her when she stands there grinning like that? Are you in love? Well, ask me how do I feel? Ask me now that we're cozy and clean. Well, sir, all I can say is if I were a bell, I'd be ringing. That's it. From the moment we kissed tonight, that's the way I've just got to behave. Boy, if I were a lamp, I'd lie. Or if I were a banner, I'd wave. Ask me, how do I feel? Little me with my quiet upbringing. Well, sir, all I can say is if I were a gate, I'd be swinging. And if I were a watch, I'd start up in my spring. Or if I were a bell, I'd go ding, dong, ding, dong, ding. I knew my morale would crack from the wonderful way that you look. Boy, if I were a duck, I'd quack. Or if I were a goose, I'd be cooked. Thank you for keeping the crowd back. Oh, that was nothing. You were just wonderful. Say, so listen, Gail, by the way, when are we going to set the date to get married? Well, uh, suppose we talk about that tomorrow, huh, Phil? Oh, I dear. have a few more pictures well, to Well, you're take. always putting me off, Gail. I'll see you. Okay, get him a breach. Huh? Don't argue with me, reach. No. All right, so let me have a go. Come on, let me have your money. Yeah. Hi, Phil. Hello, Joe. <laughs> did, uh, did you hold me up, the guy? Yeah. How's business, Joe? Just hold me up. Pick it up. Just hold me up, the guy. Just hold me up. See you around, Phil. Goodbye, hey, Joe. Hey, hey. Cheap skate, you. I was holding me up. Can't read, eh? Huh? Can't read, eh? Read what? You see that sign? Get off the grass. Come on, I want to walk you to the station house. Wait, come on. Oh, Joe, come on. Wait, um, come on to the station house. Wait a minute. Walk you to the station house. Come on. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Listen, wise guy. Leave me alone. Oh, a wise guy, huh? I don't want to go to the station house. Why not? I came all the way from California to get married. Get married? And I don't want to spend it in jail. Well, I guess I can't uh, arrest you today. I'm going to get married myself. You are? Yep. To a girl? To a girl? <laughs> Did you have anybody getting married to a man? My sister. <laughs> now you are going to walk. Yeah, down. Where you at? I'll put the cuffs on you. That's right. Put your arms out here. Come on. Wait a minute. Wait, what are you going to do? I'm going to walk you down to the station house. With, now, the, come with on. the handcuffs on? That's right. We put them on. You right put those handcuffs on with me. You know what I could do? You You're couldn't. a policeman. You you shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't put the handcuffs on that way. You couldn't do a thing. I couldn't? No, sir. You put the handcuffs on me like that. I say to you, bend over, pick up the nickel. You go to pick up the nickel, I go clunk over the head and <laughs> knock you out. You know what we do with wise guys like you? I'll show you. We put them behind their back. Show me. Just like, would you mind help me? I'll show you. Show me. Here, do you see this? Here. Yep. I Just help me a little bit. Yeah, sure. please? Thank ahead. you very much. Wait, I gotta... Now, we put the other hand behind yep. his back. Would you help me, please? You want me to lock that, the other? That's it. Put lock. it right on it. Lock that there. Okay. That's okay. It. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Thank you. You luck? That's right. Now, uh, what could I do? How could a fella impossibly hit you on the head, would you? You mean you can't hit me now? I can't move at all. I'm, I'm tired. What do you know? You, you, like that, you can't do nothing. Not a thing. 
Oh, now, no. all right, take the key out of my pocket here now and unlock them. Huh? I said, take the key out of my pocket and unlock them. Come on. You'll get five years in jail for this. You want me to go in your pocket and take the key out and unlock you? I, I, I don't want to go in your pocket and take the key out. Come on, wise guy. Do what you're told. My socks will be by any minute. Get the key out and unlock these cups. Can't you get the key? You know I can't. You can't get the key. It's impossible for me to do anything. Can't get the key, huh? You know. <laughs> Would you mind getting in my pocket? Shut up. <laughs> oh, if I could get... Shut the... up. Well, if I could get my head... Shut up! I'll let you have it. Well, if I could get what my... kind of stupid policeman are you anyway? Mm. You get yourself all locked up behind and you can't do nothing. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, what, huh? Hey, quiet. I'll give you the... I'll put them on your eye there. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of it now and bring it back. I want to show him what a dopey cop you are. Here I go. You'll get five years for this. Okay, I'll... Here, will you please help me? I had a little accident here. What's the matter? I had a little accident. Would you mind getting the key out of my pocket, please? For goodness sake. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hurry up now. Thank you. There you oh, are. Oh, thank you. Thank Perfect. you very much. Thank you. Oh, oh. Huh? He was trying to show me what to do with the handcuffs, yeah. and he got himself locked behind there. Wise guy. Tough cop. You sure he's locked? Slap him in the face. Hey, oh. slap him in the face. Slap him in the face. Emma. What is this? Emma. Uh, he likes it. Yeah. What, what can he do? He can't stuck his hand out himself. <laughs> 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 well, have it, have it. Without a bleach? Yes, that wash is wider. Get your colors brighter. You get a cleaner wash with FAP. Fair wash is. Hey, Mr. Bartender. Yes, anything wrong here, folks? 
Jeff, we had six beers already. What, would you like me to do something for you? Yeah, would you do us a favor and tune in to Phil Regan's show? I'd be glad to. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed Gail Storm and our Beat Bar H Ranch show tonight. Before we say goodnight, I would like to sing a little love song to my girl, Gail. I hear singing and there's no one there. I smell blossoms and the trees are bare. All day long I seem to walk on air. I wonder why. I wonder why. I keep tossing in my sleep at night. And what's more, I've lost my appetite. Stars that used to twinkle in my eyes are twinkling in the skies. I wonder why. I hear music and there's it no one there. So surprising that I you smell see blossoms and the trees are bare. Your All day long I see no walk on air. What's the I matter? wonder why. Because I've been there I once or twice. I your hair keep on my in my sleep at night. Who's older and what's more, I've lost my appetite. There is nothing you can say. Who that word twinkling in my eyes? Just I'm just in love. Well, thank you. Thank you, and that's about all for tonight. And I certainly hope you'll tune us in again next week on our little policeman show. Thank you very much. Well, are we off the air? We're off the air. Okay, wrap it up, fellas. Wrap it up. Thank you very, very, very much, Gad. You're oh, wonderful. Oh, it was a pleasure, Phil. It's always nice to work with you. Believe me, it was wonderful. Say, now, uh, I've done you a little favor, haven't I? Yeah. There is a little something I'd like you to do for me. Gail, I'll do anything for you. What would you like me to do? Let Lou Costello out on bail. No, 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 oh, I'm not... Please, no, no, please. Phil, I'm not going to let... No, I'm Hello, not. Dear. Where's Daddy with the bail money the now? bail has been posted. He'll be re released the second. Okay, hmm? if it'll make you happy. Oh, good. Sergeant, let that bum out of jail. <laughs> A jailbreak. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis. Listen, now you'll go back in again. Come on, Gail, I want to speak to you. Huh? Pardon me, I want to speak to you. Hey! Thanks an awful lot. Thank you. Hey, am I going to marry your daughter now? Well, that would be arranged, but at present time... Let's go celebrate. Celebrate right now, my boy. Let's go over to Basel's Cafe. How far is it? Only seven miles. Basel's Cafe. Yes, call, me a, call me a cab. You're no, a cat. No, 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 we can walk. I don't call me yeah, a cat. Yes, we can call me a cat. Yes, of course, sir, fellas. We're going to celebrate our birthday. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Well, here we are. I... <laughs> Already we're here? Yes, certainly. <laughs> what happened to Mr. Storm? I don't know. Well, let's walk inside, fellas. Huh? Here, come on in. Come on, close the door. Huh? I said shut the door. Hello, boss. Glad to see you. Right. Brought a couple of friends of mine here. We're going to buy them a bit of beverage. I want you to shake hands with Bud Abbott over there. Buzz. Buzz. Hi, Buzz. Shake hands with Luke Costello. Hi, Buzz. What do you drink, fellas? I'll have a beer. Beer for them over there. What do you have? Cream soda. Cream, cream, cream soda. <laughs> Small cream soda for a little fat. You. <laughs> I'll have a beer, too. Yeah. Well, there's yours. Here's your cream soda. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, here's love. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> How about another? Yeah, I want a big one this time. I want to see it. Give an idea. Say, boss, that cook last bowl. Let him drink from that. I know it's very expensive. It's worth ten thousand dollars, but you have nothing to worry about. He'll take good care of it. You take good care of it, won't you? Oh, uh, sure, uh, boss. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, just pour it right in that. That's fine. Yeah. Here, get a hold of us. Come on, take it. Go ahead. No, no, no. The right way. Oh, I don't. I don't. What? Put your arms around it. That's fine. There you are. There's your beer. I'll take mine over here. Good luck, fellas. 
Take this broom and sweep it up. You ain't got no broom. You might as well sweep it up. Sweep it up. It's all right, Bob. Don't worry about it. <laughs> What's that you say, Bob? You want the money for it now? Well, he doesn't carry $10,000 around with him. No, don't get angry now. Don't lose your temper, Boz. After all, I brought him in here. Don't come across that bar, Boz. Don't do that. Don't pull that knife, Boz. I've got to protect these boys. I brought them in here. Now, don't forget that, Boz. Now, take it easy. What? You're going to give it to him? Now, you do? Me. I'm going to give it to you. You forced me to put my gun. Take that! <laughs> oh. Chef Boz, Chef Boz. I didn't need it, Boz. Speak to me, Buzz. Don't look at me with that black stare. Oh, he's clammy. There's blood. Blood, 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 blood all around. Blood. blood. It's the cops. They've come to take me to the jailhouse. Look, they've got me caught. The jury is filing back into the box. What's that you say, Judge? I'm guilty. Hang by the neck until I'm dead? No, Judge, you can't put the rope around my neck. I didn't mean it. Show me some mercy, Judge. Judge. So I can have my choice. Shot by a pirate squad. All right, I'll take it like a man. Don't put that cigarette in my mouth. All right, give it to me, Judge. No, 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 I want to be shot. Fire! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. What is it? What's that, Buzz? <laughs> Wait a minute, this kid's with me. Come on, get a guy shot up. Wait a minute. We're not getting away with any of that stuff, Buzz. Now, you leave this kid alone. We've been buddies for years. You're gonna, you're gonna do what? You're coming over the bar to get him, eh? I'm warning you, don't do it, Buzz. Don't come over that bar. I warned you, Buzz. <laughs> of murder in the first degree. Do you hear that? And it's all your fault? Murder. What's that, Judge? The I'm hanging by the neck until I'm dead? The mustache on Abbott? What? Leave <laughs> that mustache alone. Go ahead, Judge. Right. You're going to put some other factors. Sure, we're going. No, you can't <laughs> do it. I'll take the firing spot. Hurry up. I'll take the, the firing spot. Hey, hurry up. I'll see the take the firing spot. Okay. Say, <laughs> now listen, Buzzo, don't come over that bar. You come over that bar, I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it now, Buzzo. Take that. Take that, Buzzo. I'll stab you. <laughs> I, I stabbed him with a knife. <laughs> listen, Buzzo, wait a minute. Please talk to me, will you, Buzzo? What? You gonna take me in court? Well, it's a nice day. Well, you gonna give me a fire squad? You gonna shoot me? Fire! 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 Get a little of this performance. Fire! 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 Cleans greasy pots and pans up to twice as easy and twice as fast as any other leading cleanser. Get a can for your kitchen. And one for the bathroom, too. Ajax, the foaming action cleanser.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special announcement. Today on my show, we are going to witness the marriage of my best girl to a brother police officer, a much better man than I, a sergeant. Sergeant Lou Costello! <laughs> The best of friends must part. Gail, I give you my boy. I've matter? been with him a long time. Take good care of him. And remember to warm his milk. <laughs> oh, Louis, my little popsicle, popsicle. Where are we going to spend our honeymoon? On top of old smoke. On, On top, top of old smoke. Wedding day. Let's make up. <laughs> On top of old Smokey. On, On top, top of old Smokey. Our home will be blessed. Our, Our home, home will, will be blessed. What is it? Let's turn up. No, no, no. Let's kiss and make up. On the nose. Thank you. On top of old Smokey. On top of old Smokey. We lie on the sofa. We lie on the sofa. <laughs> Just oh. me alone. Louis. Thank you, darling. This is the happiest day of my life. Oh, oh my honey, do, darling. Honey, honey. I'm in the mood for love. Simply because you're near me. Funny, but when you're near me. I'm in the mood for love. Apple blossoms are in your eyes. Your cheeks are as red as berries. Your lips are sweet as cherries. I'm in the mood for love. <laughs> after, after we're married, all I want are the simple little things. You got me, dear. My Louis, he will buy me jewels like Betty Grable. Louis, he will buy me fancy minks and sable. Where can she find another sucker like a Louis? <laughs> white cans with red letters? I do. You like bubbles? <laughs> and I'll pronounce you Ajax, the foaming cleanser! Oh, Louis, my darling husband. Allow me to congratulate you. Now you are a husband. Not a has-been, husband! Uh, you don't even know what a husband is. A husband is what's left of a sweetheart after the nerve has been killed. What? <laughs> Folks, ladies and gentlemen, 
just as long as say good night. He was supposed to catch me. <laughs> I would like what to. What is it? On the nose or what? Club, Ladies and gentlemen, please, they've been so wonderful. We'd like to introduce the whole show. Let's introduce Phil Regan. Phil, Phil Regan. Come on, come on Phil. Phil. Come on, Phil. Phil Regan. Come on, Phil. Yeah, yeah. nice. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce Gail Storm. Gail Storm. Gail, come on, Gail. Gail Storm. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts, kids. You're wonderful. Al Goodman, God bless you. You never played music any better. That's Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Uh, that's all, isn't it? Now, wait a minute. More? Yes, we got... Yeah, to... I'd like to do something. Before I go, I want to whisper something both of you. Thank you. Very oh, much. oh, oh. I, didn't get I never off. did get my kiss, either. <laughs> Gail, thanks a minute. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You thank him. Say Thanks something nice. Well, now, let's see, Lou. We have one week, we have Jack Carson and Jack Carson... <laughs> see you in a few days, Christy, Patty, and Carol. <laughs> oh, uh, Jack Carson is next week, is it? Uh, am I right, boys? I think next week, yes. Uh, We're yes, coming back we November 18th, if we can make it. If we can make it. Please. Please. Oh, wait a minute. We have, uh, in two weeks from tonight, Eddie Canner and uh, uh, Cesar Romero. Cesar Romero, yeah. Eddie Cantor. Eddie Cantor. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that... Wait, well, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Bud, I want to tell you something. This show tonight has really been a fast show. I never felt so fast in my life. Yes. Really felt real yeah, fast. Yeah, fast. You're the slowest thing I've ever met. What do you mean I'm slow? You're too slow. Well, what do you mean? I come from the fastest town in the world. Where's that? Where's that? Right here in New York City. Oh, in New York City? Sure. Fast. Show me how fast. Why, one day on my way to work, I saw a gang of workmen laying a foundation for a uh, hundred-story building. And would you believe me, that very same evening, on my way home to dinner, that building was up and completed. That's what I call fast. Listen, but I come now, from the fastest town in the whole world, Madison, New Jersey. Ah, stop. I want to tell you something. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I want to tell you something. Just the other day, just the other day, I was over at Madison. Yeah. I was getting a taxi cab, put my foot in the cab, and there was a guy working in the foundation for a hundred-story building, fifty stories more than yours. Before I could get my other foot in the cab, Wait a minute. don't tell me that building was up and completed. Up and completed, nothing. They were putting the people out for not paying the rent. That's all. Good night. Good night. <laughs> The Colgate Comedy Hour has been presented by Halo Shampoo. Pam, the new wash day sun. Ajax Thunder. And how about it so?